So if you're looking to restore your data from a USB drive that I sent you where we did a data recovery and we put your iTunes backup file into one of these, this is what you need to do to restore it into a new iPhone. Uh, first thing you want to do is plug this into your computer and then you're going to have a folder that looks like this one. I do recommend you copy this folder to your desktop by just dragging it onto your desktop so that it's no longer on the USB. This will make uh, the whole process faster as far as uh, the restore process. So once you get that copied to your desktop, the next thing you want to do is get a program called 3U Tools, which looks like this. This is a free program and you can get it at 3U.com. You can see the website right here. I will link it down below in the video description. And then you want to have your new phone ready to go. Make sure it's already been factory reset, it has to be wiped. You cannot merge this data into your new iPhone. So if you have data on the phone, you have to wipe it. There's no easy way to merge the old data from the old phone to your new phone's data. It has to be fully replaced. So just keep that in mind. So once the phone is uh, factory reset and here on the hello screen, here's where you, you can do the actual restore into. So on 3 tools, uh, when you plug in the phone, You'll see it'll detect the phone. Now it's connected. So this basically uh, reads the phone and it's connected to it. And then this is the process where you restore from the backup. It's really simple. There's a little button here that says backup restore. Click on that. Actually, let's activate the phone first. So if your phone is here, click uh, activate now. Activate basically means to set it up to uh, pass you know, the iCloud lock screen. Uh, the phone cannot be iCloud locked to uh, restore into. There it is. It's activated. Now we're, we're like in the setup page. It actually got to the home page. So that's fine. As long as it's uh, wiped. You want to click trust. Uh, ignore all these pop-ups. All right. So now let's try backup and restore. Now this is the backup process, which we're not doing. We're going to restore. So to do it, we do uh, view all data backups. This is, uh, this is my computer, so I have a ton of backup files there. Yours is probably gonna be blank. So you, what you have to do is import the backup that I sent you, this one, by clicking here, there's a button, add backups, and then find that file. So because I told you to put it on the desktop, so you should find it uh, on the desktop. I would recommend you click this one here, and then you should see that folder. I don't have one here in this example, but in yours, you'll find the folder that will say something that looks like this, where the, the file, the backup file name is just a bunch of numbers and letters and it's like really long. So you wanna select that. And when you do, you'll see it listed here. Now that you have it there, so in my case, the one I need to restore for this phone, it's this one down here. Uh, it does have you know, some information about the backup itself. So you wanna select it. You wanna click restore all data. Don't do customize. I've noticed it doesn't always work right. So restore all data does everything that's in that backup file. In some cases, there will be a password set to the backup file, which typically uh, we set as your pin code. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. Click okay, or next. And then the phone itself, you don't have to do anything with it, but as long as it's wiped, uh, because it's basically gonna overwrite everything. So just keep that in mind. This one specifically is 90 gigs. Now keep, make sure your, your new phone has enough storage to fit the backup. So you can't restore a phone with, let's say, 250 gigs into a phone that's 128 gigs. That has to be, you always have to have a bigger than the, the size of the backup file. All right, so now we're going to do, yeah, restore application data. Uh, we don't need to restore apps. Keep that in mind. Just the data, uh, I, or once it's all done, when it's setting up and you connect to Wi-Fi, it'll automatically download all the apps and then the data is already there. So it'll just appear. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you bind, uh, that means you have to type in your iCloud info into this app, which I don't recommend you do because then it's permanently, that iCloud is permanently tied to this program and it's uh, probably not the best idea. And you click start recovery and we wait. So right now I'm just scanning the file and it's going to start the process and there you go restore in progress so we just let it sit let it finish and we're done so we'll be right back all right so about an hour later uh we got about 88 gigs restored uh looks like everything went through successfully if we look at the phone we have 
it's uh, completed. So this is what the phone looks like. Uh, you just follow the on-screen instructions. All right, so there you go. Welcome to the iPhone. And I can see all the uh, data is here. Now I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi to get it to download everything else, but looks like it uh, should be ready to go. So there you have it. Uh, if you guys need your data recovered, send me a message for a quote. Uh, if you need help with this uh, restore process and you're one of my customers, I would be happy to help. Just reach out to me. If you're not a customer, then you can use the comments below for any support or join my Facebook group. So, if, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.